Living with type 1 diabetes means a, a life constant, life full of checking, making sure that insulin and glucose levels are always where they need to be. WMAR 2 News' Eddie Kadem talked with the doctor at Medstar Health, who's an expert on the disease, and he explains how a vaccine for another well-known disease could be the key to changing lives. A new study took around 50 patients, used an old vaccine for tuberculosis, followed them around for eight years and found there was a decrease in glucose levels without causing low sugars. Dr. Paul Sack, an endocrinologist who specializes in diabetes, explained what that means. Now these diabetics had di diabetes for a long time, so theoretically they made no insulin, which is the definition of type 1 diabetes. It's an autoimmune destruction of the cells that make insulin. The vaccine showed some very small levels of insulin increase, but not enough to make a difference. They did some other studies um, showing that it actually changes the way the body actually metabolizes glucose. We use glucose for energy, and it turns into something called ATP that provides us with the energy to do what we, what we need to do. And they found that it kind of shunted or switched the way that it metabolizes glucose from one pathway to another. The scientists at Massachusetts General Hospital found that pathway was much more efficient at taking care of sugar. It's fascinating that you can give an, an injection two times within a few weeks and then this effect, the, this effect lasts for about eight years in terms of reducing the A1C by about half a point. Just so you know, the A1C is like a marker of a three-month average of glucose. Dr. Sack says it's important to note this is not a cure. All the people stayed on insulin throughout the study, and he says there is a good potential for this vaccine to do big things in the future. If you give it before any diabetes starts, does it help? And the answer is probably not. But if you can give it around the time the diabetes starts, maybe there's a chance that this actually could prevent the further loss. Eddie Kadem, WMAR 2 News.